planning a trip, whether for business or leisure, can be an overwhelming task. From researching destinations and accommodations to creating an itinerary, a single trip takes time and effort to ensure everything will go smoothly. What if you can create an AI agent to assist with your trip planning? In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to build your own travel planning AI agent using the Agno AI framework in Python. This is going to be an intermediate tutorial aimed toward people who have some experience building agents in Agno, as we will be creating multiple agents to collaborate together and building the tool sets to run research and add info to the itinerary. If you've never heard of Agno, Agno is an open source AI agent framework built for developing intelligent autonomous systems with ease. Now, let me show you a quick demo of the travel planning agent we will be building before diving into the tutorial. Here in the input, I will say, I am planning a 14 days trip in Japan for two with budget around $3,000. Looking at around March or April, it must take cultural events into consideration. Based on my input, the agent will first use the EXA tool to research any events in Japan in March and April. For the demo, I forgot to enable the tool calls for other agents, but Google Maps and DuckDuckGo tools are also used to fetch each business's map URL and research the businesses. From the itinerary, it gives us the suggested activities for each day along with the Google map links for the destination. Below are more links to get more information about different events. We can also ask follow-up questions about the business and itinerary. We will do that after we finish building the agent. Now that you know what to expect from the travel planning agent, let's dive into the tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is to set up Google Maps API access. Unfortunately, Google got rid of the $200 monthly credit usage and replaced it with free usage for each Maps product. Nevertheless, the free usage is still pretty generous. And for the Maps API, we will only be using the Place API details for IDs only API, which has unlimited free usage. Now navigate to console.cloud.google.com. Click the drop down to create a new project. Give the project a name. Once the project is created, select the project. In the navigation menu under APIs and Services, click Enabled APIs and Services. On the top, search for Places API and enable the API. Save keep the API key. Usually, I would recommend storing the API key in an environment variable. For demonstration purpose, I will hard code the API key in the script. This step is optional. Click Go to Google Maps platform. In the drop down, sell out API restriction and check places API. Now we are done setting up Google Maps API access. Navigate to exa.ai. Create an account and go to API keys to generate an API key. If you have never heard of exa, exa is an AI focused search engine providing real time data and search results, specifically for agentic AI and generative models. Exa gives $10 free credit when you create an account plus up to $20 if you go through the onboarding checklist, which should last you for a while. At this point, we have finished setting up all the API accesses. Let's move on to the travel planning agent development in Python. Launch a terminal. Run the command to install Agno, OpenAI, Exa, HTTPX, and DuckDuckGo Python libraries. To start with the development, open your code editor and create a Python file called prompts.py. Inside the file, create the variables to define the prompts, instructions, 
and expected output format that the agent will follow. Prompts and instructions are key elements in ensuring that an agent behaves precisely and intelligently. Make sure your prompts and instructions are as specific and clear as possible. Now let's work on the agent tools. Agno already has DuckDuckGo and Exa from its own toolkit library, and we will use the pre-built tools instead. And for the Google Maps tool, create a Python file and name it mapstools.py. In the module, import HTPX and toolkit from Agno tools to make request calls and convert function to Agno specific toolkit. And to create the Google Maps Agent Toolkit, create a class called Google Maps Tool with Toolkit as the base class and API key as the required parameter. In the class, use the init method to store the API key and define the base endpoint URL. Typically, you can create a function to serve as a tool. However, since I plan to expand other Google Maps functions, Using a class allows us to keep the functions more organized and makes it much easier to share properties like the API key and headers. The getPlaceMaps URL method will be the Google Maps function that the agent will use to search for a business or place and return the map URL of the location. At this point, we are done setting up all the tools. The only thing left is developing the travel planning agent. Create a Python file and name it travelagent.py if you haven't already created it when we create the Google Maps API key. In the script, import the required Python dependencies. And I just realized I forgot to install Rich's Python library. Here, let me also create a variable to store the EXA API key. To ensure a Google Maps agent will always return output in the same format, create the map URL data classes with base model. Inputs class is not used in this example. I'm just putting it here for demonstration purpose. But if you want to create a form UI and use text fields to input the trip detail, you can store the entries using the input class. To make the travel planning agent as intelligent as possible, create the agent members. The travel planning agent will be responsible for drafting the trip itinerary with Excel tool to research the details of the destination to provide more up-to-date information. The Google Map agent will be responsible for using the Google Maps toolkit to generate the businesses and places map URL to streamline navigation. And the DuckDuckGo agent will be responsible for searching for business information such as addresses, phone numbers, website URLs, and other stuff. Exa can also perform this task, but it can get quite expensive if you need to search for a large number of businesses. To enable all the agents to collaborate, Create another agent using the agent class and use the team parameter to group the agents together. This team agent will be responsible for coordinating and delegating tasks to the assigned agents based on the tasks that need to be performed. This is one of the features in Agno that makes setting up agents extremely easy. To ensure message history is retained for the session, set the add history to message to true and add the description, instructions, and expected output the team agent will adhere. Noticing that here, I'm using the expect output variable to re-emphasize the output format for a second layer of validation. In the last step, insert the main routine to launch the chat session. Now that we are officially done developing the travel planning agent, Run the script to test the agent. For the initial input, I will say, I am planning a trip for a family of four with budget around $5,000. Looking at countries in Europe for 14 days around April or May. Let's see what itinerary the agent is going to propose. 
For the initial trip planning, the team agent transfers the task to the travel planning agent to draft the itinerary. Then the Google Maps agent and the DuckDuckGo agent are called to gather Google Maps URL and business info for the businesses and destinations identified. And here's the final itinerary the agent generated. Keep in mind that all the agents are using GPT-40 mini model, which is pretty capable of performing most of the requests. If you want to get a more detailed and refined itinerary, I would recommend using GPT-40 or Cloud Sonnet 3.5 models. If we look at the itinerary here, for accommodations, the Google Maps URLs are there, but the business URLs are missing. Oh, I forgot, the output is in Markdown. For the follow-up, I will ask, can you also give me the website for the hotels listed? And for this request, the task is transferred to the DuckDuckGo agent. And here's the additional info for the hotels listed in the itinerary. And to quit the session, type exit to terminate. Overall, this is a near product ready agent that still needs a bit of testing and customization, but you at least you get an idea on the whole workflow to develop such agent. And that concludes this travel planning agent development tutorial. Hope you find the video useful. If there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you would like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you are a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.